Hey guys, welcome back. So we uh, in earlier video, we have seen uh, what is this GraphQL Explorer, the built in tool available in uh, new AM version. Now, uh, just to understand the concept, uh, since we have created this content fragment model as book, where we have given the fragment reference of author. So how, how can we utilize this now uh, using this GraphQL feature? So I have this model called book and if I'll just, I'm using control space. And if I use this book list and inside this book list, I have the items. I will use the items and then inside items, I have path, variation, title, ISBN, authors. And I'm interested in the authors because let's, let me, let me print title also, uh, ISBN. And now I want to print author details also, right? I can filter the author details. Basically again, the path, author name, etc. Let, let's not filter it. And then, uh, let's see what we achieve with this. I'll just run this query. Okay. Here we see, we have two books available, book one and book two, ISBN one and ISBN two, whatever detail I am asking for, I'm getting that. For example, if I'll just remove the ISBN. Now, if I run this query, I don't see ISBN. So this is one feature of uh, GraphQL, which we can utilize. Whatever data we need, we'll just pass in the request. Because in earlier, uh, in use um, the legacy REST calls, what we do, we'll just create a request, which is a contract, which we need to follow. Now that request is kind of defined request and we'll get the response. Now there is, I don't have control over maybe from response. I want to omit few of the a few of the data, or maybe I want to get some additional data that control. I don't have, but here in GraphQL, I have that control, maybe some information I just want to add or remove. So the request I will build. And then on basis of that request, I will get the response. Now, uh, title I'm getting author information. Yeah, because I have used the fragment reference, uh, and in book, I have added author details also. So that's why I'm getting the path variation and then the author name. So for example, if I just want to give this also, I'll just get, and it is pretty concise, um, response I'm getting for each book I'm getting who is the author for book one, author one is the author for book two, author two is the author. So, these are the features of GraphQL, which we can utilize. And then this will save our performance also. So because performance wise, it's a, it's a very tiny response we are getting, right? So that is how we use it. So if I want to add maybe ISP number, just add ISP into it. Maybe I want to add profile information of the author. I'll just add and I'm getting this profile and within the profile also, because I, I have used, um, <clears throat> the, the multi-line offer, uh, so multi-line data type. So it is giving me option of whether I want to use the HTML version of it, markdown version of it, or plain text version of it. So previously we used to fight, uh, we are getting the, just the HTML version. Then within my, uh, service implementation class, I will first remove the HTMLs and then I will put it as a as a plain text or vice versa. I am just getting it as a plain text, but I want to, uh, I want to inject this data as form HTML. So I will just, uh, you know, change it to HTML and then finally put it in DOM. So we can use this uh, attributes on whatever business use case we have. Thank you so much for watching and stay connected. We'll just use the more filters, etc. We'll see how can we utilize this GraphQL feature. Thank you so much.